You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. So you guys, it is just like we thought. Pirates of the Caribbean is going to get a full reboot and Johnny Depp is not going to be a part of the cast. Yeah, and regardless of how you feel about Johnny Depp, you can't look at this news and think this is a good idea for the Pirates franchise. And it all but ensures that these films are just going to be disasters. Welcome back, my duelies. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button as we march our way towards 4K. So from The Hollywood Reporter, Jerry Bruckheimer says next Pirates of the Caribbean movie will be a reboot. Which we already knew, you guys. We had heard tons of rumors about the cast being all females, and we knew it was going to be a reboot this entire time. They're just now finally admitting it. And what's crazy about this article is they pretty much tell you that they simultaneously have no plan because they're in talks with Margot Robbie starring or potentially bringing Johnny Depp back or just coming with a completely different cast of younger actors. And they're kind of just doing both. And then not including Johnny Depp. So it feels like they were trying really hard to get Johnny Depp to come back and finally he was like, no, I'm not coming back for this. Yeah, it just seems like more of this fallout from Johnny Depp being ostracized and kicked out of Hollywood for what happened with Amber Heard. Meanwhile, Amber Heard has people like fighting for her to be in films, mm -hmm. even though she like did cut off Johnny Depp's finger. And Johnny Depp got fired from Fantastic Beasts and he got fired from Pirates of the Caribbean and he's salty now. He's like, I'm not coming back. And you start to see this bigger picture that Pirates of the Caribbean knows is probably not going to survive without Johnny Depp. And they've just been holding out hope that he would come back. Yeah. And I'm actually kind of happy he's not coming back because, of course, if he was going to come back, it would literally just be for like a cameo. Yeah, they would have totally exploited him and make him like a voiceover or a, you know, pirate just wow girling all the new characters. <laughs> No, 100%, because he would only be there to support the new characters. But you guys let us know in the comments. How much do you think a Pirates of the Caribbean movie without Johnny Depp is able to make? I'm thinking like 300 million. Yeah, definitely not more than five. And definitely not enough to make their money back. <laughs> no. It feels like Jerry Bruckheimer wants him to come back to save the franchise, whereas Disney wants Johnny Depp to come back to legitimize what they're doing in the future. And Johnny Depp doesn't want to be used in that way, I don't think. And even Bruckheimer revealed that the next installment of Pirates of the Caribbean will be a reboot of the beloved franchise. So like he knows it's a beloved franchise and that they need Johnny Depp to be able to validate that and that they can't move forward with a completely new cast without some of the old. Well, I think it says a lot that none of the other older casts were interested in coming back. Mm -hmm. Like Johnny Depp's been the one that has been the mainstay throughout all the Pirates movies, but Keira Knightley's not coming back. Orlando Bloom's not coming back. It's truly this thing that you see with Disney with them just trying to have like a B-list version of a very popular thing and assuming that nostalgia will skate them through to like a decent box office. But I don't think it's gonna work. No, it's 100% not gonna work. And I think there will be people, not even think, we saw that there will be people who will boycott these films because Johnny Depp's not in them. Yeah. And on top of that, I feel like they're doing themselves no favors with having a full reboot of just younger actors. And then the rumor is that it's going to be an all-female cast. And we all saw the actress that they were supposed to be going with, which is Ayla Dabiri, which we have blatantly said over and over again is a bad choice. I think the most startling thing though from this article is that they don't have one plan, they have two, and they're not really executing on either. Because in the article, Bruckheimer says, we developed two of them. One with Margot Robbie and one with the younger cast, he said at the time. The Margot one, Robbie one needs a lot more work. The younger one is close. Hopefully we'll get both of them. So they're really hoping to have Pirates of the Caribbean become like a spin-off type thing, where you can just tell any story that you want to in the Pirates aesthetic. But I mean, so much of the Pirate aesthetic is just Captain Jack Sparrow. He continues on and says that he put to rest Robbie's claims that the project wasn't happening. And he's like, we believe we'll get it made. It's a very strong story. But how can it be a very strong story if it doesn't have Captain Jack Sparrow or any of the previous characters in it? Well, and I think that they're not even dealing with levels of strong because later on, one of the people writing the script says he was just shocked that they even got the script purchased because it's just so weird. And I mean, <laughs> dude, Pirates of the Caribbean scripts are innately weird. And so for the people writing it to be like, man, this is too out there, even for a pirate script, I think it really shows you where they're going with this. It's just like a statement. Yeah, well, no, it makes you wonder, like, what is in the script that's too weird? Even if this upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean film was just a masterpiece, Disney has ensured there's almost no way for it to succeed and make money because their fan base is so polarized. And on every single controversy, they just know that it's like a 50-50 split of people saying, I back Disney or screw Disney. I think that that skew is even worse for Pirates of the Caribbean because with the giant debt factor, 
there's a lot of people who still think that Hollywood screwed him over, that he's the victim, and that he never should have been fired in the first place. And so the more these projects exclude him or can't reconcile how to bring Johnny Depp back, the more they're going to be subject to the scrutiny of people who think that Johnny Depp's firing is part of a bigger problem in Hollywood. Well, and it, it brings up a very common question. Who are they making this for? Because the people who love Pirates of the Caribbean are not going to want to watch an entire reboot of younger actresses. You just keep hearing this phrase that Hollywood is making films for an audience that doesn't exist. And that's very true with Pirates of the Caribbean. They think that there's an audience of Pirates of the Caribbean lovers who love it so much that they're going to see a Pirates of the Caribbean movie no matter how poorly executed it is, but that same audience somehow doesn't expect Johnny Depp to be in it. Yeah. Because there have been lesser Pirates of the Caribbean films, but they are carried by the fact that people love Johnny Depp so much. Yes, and even with the Margot Robbie movie, I don't think anyone would go see Pirates of the Caribbean with Margot Robbie. Yes, I think it would have stood a, Yeah, but I think it would have stood a better chance. Yeah. Because at least Margot Robbie is a wildly popular actress who yes. you know has a huge draw. You have actresses like Ayo Adabiri who's known for being in The Bear. She's like not even the main character of The Bear. Nope. And you're thinking that you're just going to put her into a Pirates film without the aid of you know Captain Jack Sparrow and she's going to be able to hold it up. It's unfair to her. It's going to be a huge box office disaster. Oh, and they're 100% going to focus on people just being racist and yeah. misogynist because they don't like the fact that it's a black female that's leading the film. Well, and you feel like that might be part of their decision making. That is a cynical attempt to divert blame of a bad film that, you know, Hollywood is creatively bankrupt. They don't have any more ideas. They're doing reboots of things. Guys, did we even think that Pirates needed a reboot? The last film wasn't that long ago. And so they're doing reboots because they don't have the creativity to write new scripts, but they know it's gonna be bad. And so the only way to cover that to their shareholders is to say, hey, it wasn't about the quality of Pirates of the Caribbean or the fact that our entire studio is struggling. No, it's because of racism. And it's also a way to cover up the fact that if this movie, well, it's gonna be bad. But when it's bad, that's the reason why. It can't be any of Disney's fault. It can't be the writer's choices. Mm -hmm. It has to be only placed on the fact that it's some ism. Yeah, no, like Hollywood uses identity politics as a get out of jail free card. It's incredibly cynical. But you guys, these are just our ideas. Maybe you guys completely disagree. Let us know in the comments and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.